Okay, let's do those fuzz and exercises. <laughs> Fuh. Feeling better already. And, hello. Ah, oh, come on, Rachel, we're near the end. Peter? I can't believe, how can someone have this much rotten luck? I nev I've never won. Even Lloyd won. As soon as, speak of the devil. As soon as Lloyd calls lunch break, I approach him. Um, hey, are you free next weekend? For you? Always. What's up? Well, I just got some tickets to a local renaissance festival. Lloyd claps his hands together like a small child. Oh, I love Renfair. I am invited, right? Of course you are. Booyah! Sean, you're my hero. <laughs> Booyaka Sha! What's a bet? He's gonna dress up. He's gonna be like totally into it. I wonder if he'll dress up in his night costume again. Possibly. I'll save just in case, but I kind of have a feeling. My tickets for the Ren Fair arrive today. Thank goodness. Time to meet up with Lloyd. But first, save over my last John file. Bye, John. Look at my little Lloyd chibi, though. So cute. Okay, we're gonna try this. I have a feeling. Yeah! There's my knight. Lloyd is waiting for me at the gate by the time I arrive. Unsurprisingly, he's chosen to clad himself in knight's armor. Nice, not many people can pull off that look. Same to you. I'm glad you chose to dress up. It's more fun this way. Have you ever been to a renaissance festival before? Several times, but it's my first time here. Oh. Lloyd gazes at the rows of tents with a wistful sigh. Ah, oh, this place is lovely. I grew up in a town just like this. Really? No. How old do you think I am? You're the one who said it. And you're supposed to go, Oh, Lloyd, you can't possibly be that old. You don't look a day over 17. My parents raised me not to be a liar. Ouch! Right in my heart. Lloyd mocks, grabbing at his chest in pain. Boy, cut it out. People are staring at us. How rude. Weren't you ever taught to respect your elders? I'll let you know if I see one. Great. Now she plays along. <laughs> Lloyd angles himself away from me as if he's speaking to an invisible camera. I ignore his imaginary fourth wall. Dear, oh dear. Come on, Mr. Seventeen-Year-Old. Let's explore this place. Lloyd marches off, armor clinking with each step. It's only a few steps before a woman approaches us. Excuse me, can I take your picture? Sure! Lloyd slings an arm over my shoulder. The woman snaps a few pictures. Thank you! No problem. We're about to move on when someone else calls to us. Hang on, I'd like a shot too! As we pose for the next photographer, a passing group notices us and pulls out their phones. Before I know it, a small crowd is gathered. Lloyd is drinking in the attention, but I start to feel a tightness in my chest. I grab Lloyd's hand and give it a squeeze. He turns to the crowd. Could you afford us a moment? Lloyd faces me. What's up? The crowd's getting a little big for me. Do you want to go? But you're having fun. It's no fun if you're not enjoying it. Let me do this a little longer. Are you sure? I nod. All right, and you promise you'll tell me as soon as you're not having fun anymore, right? I promise. Lloyd places his hand on my shoulder. Remember, I'm here for you. He turns back to the crowd. Thanks for waiting, you guys are the best. The cameras immediately go up again and Lloyd and I pose for a few more pictures. My head starts to feel a little fuzzy, but having Lloyd next to me helps me feel more in control. After a few more photos, the crowd disperses on its own. Whew. Well done, little wizard. You really are amazing. I don't know if standing up while people take pictures really counts as amazing. Everyone's challenge is different. This is yours. As we wander down the path, another person approaches us with a camera. Mind if I take a picture? Lloyd glances at me. I don't think I can do that again. Lloyd holds his hand to the photographer. Sorry, we're on break right now. Oh, okay. Well, you two look really cool. Thanks. Uh, thanks, I meant. <clears throat> <laughs> Lloyd 
We spend the rest of the day meandering around the fair, stopping to look at anything that interests us. Thanks for today. I should be the one thanking you. This was a good diversion. I've been so caught up in work lately, I've forgotten how important it is to take a break and have fun. We should do this again sometime. Sounds good to me. How often do Ren Fairs come to town, though? Whew, we made it through, though. What did you guys think of the new episode? I did not see that coming. Vice is alive? I can't believe he set up Katarina as a murderer just to mess with her. We probably should have guessed that. They wouldn't kill him off so easily. But how did he fake the DNA evidence? Asking the real questions. Well, Lloyd, we're running out of time, you and me. I don't know if you want to chat anymore, but we'll go to this coffee place. And if you want to, we can do that. Otherwise, we'll blink in and out. That's fine. Exercise town, exercise, exercise town. Okay. Oh, we've almost maxed out our fitness. How lovely is that? I didn't actually need to get the, but you know what? Why not? I'm definitely not going to need it at the end of the week. I could just go to the mall, I suppose. I don't think I need anything there, but whatever. Whatever. I hear someone calling my name from across the mall. Sean! Over here! Allison is jumping up and down and waving her arms wildly trying to get my attention. I hurry to her side. H hey, how's it going? Great! Really great! I landed a gig! Like, not a big one or anything, but still! She looks about ready to scream with happiness. It was just for a student film, but I had lines and everything, and it was the most amazing experience! Well, congratulations. I'm happy for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Whew. Anything here? I think I got everything except for these things, which I don't need. Oh well, that's fine. Good enough. Oh, and she just showed up the next day. I guess I needed to go to the mall anyway. Sean, I'm so glad you're here. Allison leaps at me the minute I step into the makeup trailer. Uh, Allison, what are you doing here? You're not filming today. No, I'm here to save John. From what? Get after... You! Allison screams at Selena as soon as their eyes meet. Allison, what are you doing? Sean, if you aren't going to help, I don't need you. Allison grabs my shoulder and shoves me out of the makeup trailer. Allison! I grab the door handle, but Allison's already locked it. Allison, what are you doing? Sean, go find a key. Selena speaks in a calm, even voice. R right I feel like such an idiot. Here I am, panicking about Selena, and she manages to stay calm. I race across the soundstage, searching for someone who might have a key. Whoa, girly, where's the fire? It's Allison. She, uh, I don't know, but she attacked Selena, and now they're locked in the makeup trailer together. Got it. Rachel pulls a ring of keys from her pocket. Let's go. Rachel speeds off- <clears throat> speeds off toward the trailer, leaving me in her dust. Excuse me. By the time I make it back to the trailer, she's already inside. Let me go! She's going to hurt him again! Hurt who? John! She already cut his face! Rachel and I exchange nervous glances. You mean like in the show? That's just fiction. Selena holds a hand up. Allison, is it? Why do you care? You hurt John! I have to stop you! Selena nods. I understand. You're worried about John's safety. Allison nods. It's scary to think he's in danger, isn't it? Do you want to talk about it? Uh, we should call your parents. I'm sure they can help. Uh, Rachel, let her go. Are you sure? She didn't try to hurt me, and I think she's uncomfortable right now. Rachel reluctantly releases Allison from her grip. Looking at how tense her muscles are, I'm guessing she's ready to intervene if Allison tries anything. Let's call your parents. I bet they're worried about John, too. Selena nods at me. Let Sean do it. You know she's your friend. Allison nods numbly and hands me her phone. Selena looks pointedly at the door. Right. 
I step out of the makeup trailer and find the home number on Allison's phone. Hello? Um, hello? Is this Mrs. Brandon? I'm sorry, I think you have the wrong number. Um, I'm here with your daughter Allison. She, uh... Where are you? The woman's voice is suddenly tensed up. Dodgson Studios, it's... I know where that is. Tell her we're coming. I step back into the trailer and return the phone to Allison. Your mom says she's on her way. I'm happy to hear that. That's good, isn't it? Allison takes a moment to process the statement before nodding. That's good. Rachel, do you think you could go outside and wait for Allison's mother? But I'll let you know if anything comes up. If you say so. Rachel leaves the trailer, but she doesn't look happy about it. Selena smiles at Allison. Do you want to talk about how you feel right now? I... I'm really scared. Things are really confusing right now. John was supposed to help me. He was going to make it better again, but then he got hurt. You hurt him! It's really scary to see someone getting hurt, isn't it? Uh, yes. Wow, Selena's handling this with a lot more calm than I would have imagined. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I feel the same way sometimes. Really? I think a lot of people do. You're not alone. Sean feels like that too, right? Huh? Of course. I get scared a lot. Sometimes if there are too many people or I don't know where I am, I can't even breathe. And it gets harder to understand what's going on. And then I feel so alone, like no one else will ever understand what I'm feeling. Everyone says you'll be okay, but it doesn't feel like anything's okay. Exactly. You really do understand. We both do. There's a soft knock on the trailer door. Hey, uh, Mrs. Powers is here? She says she's Allison's mother? Mom! Powers? Selena notices my confused expression and shakes her head. Uh, um... I think I have to go now. I understand. As soon as Allison steps out, I feel my body relax. I need to talk to Lloyd. Selena leaves without another word. I slump down into the nearest chair and shut my eyes. That was an adventure. That was a long way in the making. Hey there, stranger. Well, howdy. I haven't seen you around these parts before. Guess you'll just have to show me around, huh? Sorry, you're on your own. Cold. I never claimed to be a nice person. But in all seriousness, welcome back. It's been weird without you around. Want to stop by the coffee shop? Drinks are on me. Sounds like a blast. Alright. Kona coffee with cream and three sugars. You still take it like that, right? Always will. So how'd it go? Pretty good, actually. The crowds were even bigger than last year, if you can believe that. Oh, I believe it. Those palm fronds are coming out in full force. Palm fronds. Are fans really calling themselves that? I think it's kind of cute. Well, if you like it, then I guess it's okay. And what about you? Oh, things have been pretty normal. Well, as normal as they can be. Vice versa didn't get renewed. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. What? But I thought everyone loved it. I did too, but the viewing numbers are lower than the network once. The first season is the last. I'm really sorry. I'm more worried about John and Lloyd. They seem really upset by this. Makes sense. I'm sure things will work out, though. Both of them are good at what they do. I hope so. Anyway, I feel like a jerk for cutting our reunion short, but I need sleep bad. I understand. I'm glad you came to see me before going to sleep. Of course I came to see you. It's been way too long since we saw each other. But not even coffee can save me. I'm heading back. No problem. See you later. I only talked to Adam about Vice Versus this time. The Pen Ultimate episode. Why is the season almost over? Vice really did have a mole? How many times are the writers going to mess with us? At least that explains how the DNA evidence got switched. I don't know if my heart can handle the wait for the finale. Ugh. We'll just have to keep calling Lloyd until we get to our finale. That'll be the end. Okay. Um, I 
Exercise, exercise town, exercise, exercise, maybe. We're almost maxed out, Sean. I believe in you, girl. Miss Haraway, how are you? I'm fine, Sean. No need to worry about me. I'm sorry, it's just that after Allison... Yes, I do feel bad I couldn't do more for her. What happened? Her parents have been very private about the matter, but my best guess is that she had a psychotic break. What? Is she okay? I hope so. But again, her parents have been very private, as is their right. I'm impressed that you figured it out so quickly. I panicked more than I should have, and I think Rachel got overly defensive. I'm sure neither of you has nearly as much experience as I do. Um, if it's not prying too much? I've had several stalkers in my time, one who was dearly convinced that I was in grave danger from an alien attack. He broke into my house and tried to take me away from my own protection. As a child, it was a very terrifying experience. I didn't fully understand what was going on. Afterwards, I resolved to learn as much as I could so that I'd be ready if it ever happened again. How old were you when this happened? Twelve. That's a really level-headed reaction from a twelve-year-old. You think so? I felt foolish for never considering it before. Well, now I feel like the foolish one for not seeing it sooner. You couldn't have known. And from what her parents said, I think this is her first break. Do you think she'll be okay? It's a complicated situation. Either way, I doubt we'll see her again for some time. Yeah, probably not before this route is over either. Because I forgot about her at the mall. Oh well. I had other things on the go. So close. So close, girl. Oh, one point away. You tease. What a tease. And... <laughs> Season finale! Ah! Katarina! Ah! Vice Y! Ah! Ryan, no! Ah! The worst part is that this was the last episode ever! What? No! Why? Fox Network! Didn't renew it. They never keep my favorite shows and now I don't know what to do anymore. Eh, barf. Why, Fox Network? Why? Oh, we're probably super duper close. To the end. Nothing more to talk about. That's fine. Okay, I can exercise. And then, basically... I don't know. Should I just do one of everything while I'm here? Study, um, blog, f work, study, exercise, town, work. I don't even know if we'll get to the end of this week. Maybe we will? Bleh. Now that I have a webcam, I should try posting a tutorial video. I set up the camera and record a video, but the minute I play it back, I cringe. Is that really what I sound like? Better do another one. This one's embarrassing too. How do people manage? After three more tries, I finally get a take that I don't totally hate. All right, let's upload this before I change my mind. I'm more tired than I expected. From now on, I can post either video or text posts. Video posts generate more traffic, but they also tire me out faster. I can choose what kind of post I want by editing my blog settings on my computer. Oh, interesting. So I could have done that on other routes. Whoops. <laughs> Too real, though. That took me back two years to when I started recording myself. Is that what I sound like? Gross. I can't use this. No one's gonna like that. Nobody wants that. That's just gross. How the quality of my stuff has fallen since I started. <laughs> Aw. I need food and a friend. Meet at Fa 24? Sure. Huh. Lloyd sinks into his seat. Well, that was fun while it lasted. I'm sorry Vice Versus was cancelled. 
Lloyd buries his face in his hands. That too. Oops, I thought he meant the show. I watch as Lloyd fiddles with his chopsticks. Even a ball of pho doesn't seem enough to console him. It's really bad. Hey, it's okay. There will always be another show. I'm sure you've got more ideas than just vice versas. I do, but working on a show alone really isn't my thing. Being able to share creative energy with someone is the best part. Lloyd turns to me and smiles. You brought a lot to the show, too. I blush. Oh, I didn't do much. Lloyd stares at me. That's just you being modest, right? Because you totally did a ton of work. And that's on top of coming up with the idea that helped us get greenlit in the first place. Lloyd's face suddenly lights up. Hey, I've got an idea. How would you like to be a producer full time? What? what I need someone I can count on, and you've been very reliable. And I like you. That part helps too. But, but... If you're going to protest that you're not good enough, I call shenanigans. Lloyd, you and me with the shenanigans. You get me. It's a yes or no question. Do you want to be a co-producer with me? I... My mind floods with memories of the past year. The long hours, the hard work, the uncertainty. But even as I think about everything that I don't like, I can't help but remember the victories, the exhilaration, and all the pride I felt creating something amazing. I look Lloyd in the eyes and nod. Yes. Yes! Lloyd throws his arms around me. This is going to be the best team up ever! All right, so where are we now? Everywhere, actually. Lloyd and I pitched a new TV series to the network. We're in our fifth season right now and going strong. Fifth season? Beer girl, girl, boy, you, you, you dream team, you did great. In the time between seasons, we tried to sneak in some of our own pet projects. A movie here, a really cool made for internet special there. You know, whatever we feel like. We are the men in black. <laughs> or the whatever in black. We're the producers in black. We look so cool. This is so cool. We've become known as the best and most stylish creative duo in the industry, and there's no shortage of work to be done. In terms of business, Lloyd handles most of the public interaction, and I handle the behind the scenes work. But we work on the creative part together, and having someone as brilliant as Lloyd is a true pleasure. The journey here was an unexpected one, but I wouldn't trade this for anything. The Achieved Director Prepare for trouble and make it double. <laughs> oh, we were like a mix of Men in Black and Team Rocket at the end. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, so good. I'm so sad though that we couldn't go romantically for Lloyd because he's just an amazing guy. But he is best friend. Best friend ever. Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> we probably aren't gonna get another epilogue, because I mean, this was like years later. We've done like a show and a movie and things together. Who would have thought that Miss Sean Gooden would have become a producer director lady? A very stylish one at that. And John just disappeared. <laughs> Uh, I kind of preferred John's friendship end a little bit because we had John come back and we had like the original dream team was back. So I guess John just went and did his own acting shtick instead though. That's okay. We'll get him back one of these days to star in one of our things. It was probably that night Aaron figure I gave him for his birthday. <laughs> he held that as a grudge forever. All right, I'm kind of sad I don't have a Lloyd chippy, but that's okay. Because we are done Lloyd's route. That's all there is to it. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. All the shenanigans and whatnot. So perfect. Ah, <sighs> Right, well, I guess since we're done this for now, we're going to go back to Soul Set. And there is Miss Schur's route, the very mysterious Schur that we really don't know much about. So, I'll be looking forward to finding out what's going on in her route. I hope to see you guys over there too. So until then, I'll see you later guys.